What's up? still in one piece. You're staying safe out there. Welcome to Paradiso. Jiro Sugiyama at your service. Do you have a security concern, or is there something else I can help you with? Ah, yes, of course. I'm glad you came. As you can imagine, we're in a bit of a predicament. Under normal circumstances, we would not enlist outside help in this manner. But this is a matter we can't afford to worry our guests about. As such, we need to handle this discreetly. Failure on your part to do so could have severe consequences. So, before we proceed, can you swear not to discuss this with anyone else unless explicitly directed to do so? Oh, that's quite the claim. If that's the case, I think it would be prudent to go speak with them and find out exactly what they plan to do about it. Whatever you do, it's important to remember to seek diplomacy with who or what ever's on board. As soon as you have any more information, report to Oliver Campbell. He's the CEO of Paradiso. All formal decisions will need to go through him, and he'll have your pay. Good luck. to know an awful lot about us. I can only assume your ship has some sort of advanced scanning capabilities, or there exists some record of our mission somewhere. 
Perhaps we should greet our guests. Of course. Manners. I'm Captain Diana Brackenridge. This is Security Officer Bomani Reader. Hmm. And this is Dr. Mabuti da Costa, one of our elders. A pleasure to meet you. Hopefully it won't inconvenience you too much, but we're in a bind. So you're the only one to approach us, and we really need your help. Our ship has finally completed its near 200-year journey from Earth, only to find our new home seemingly colonized by... Well, we don't know. Communications haven't been successful, so your arrival is fortuitous. Perhaps you'd be willing to act as a middle person between ourselves and... the others. Oh yes, of course. Where are my manners? Now then, please follow me. There's much to discuss first. We'll speak more on the matter once we reach the bridge. Dr. De Costa, you may return to your quarters if you wish. Thank you, Captain. I will follow you to the bridge, ma'am. For security purposes. I do not believe we have need to fear our guest, but I'll allow it if you insist. Welcome to the Earth colony ship Constant. In the early 2100s, my ancestor, Rupert Brackenridge, researched a number of scientific scenarios, climate change, asteroid impact, nuclear war, global pandemic, and more. Each scenario showed the likelihood of an extinction level event to be within 50 years. He firmly believed Earth was there, destined to be rendered uninhabitable. Be We've always assumed that's what happened. So, he gathered the best and brightest he could find, built the constant, and set a course for this planet here. We were told that it was the largest, most advanced ship ever constructed on Earth at the time. If you can believe, entire generations have been born, lived, and died on this ship. It really goes to show that there are no limits to human ingenuity and perseverance. We've got strict rules around here, but they're strict for a reason. Just because our equipment's old, doesn't mean it won't work to take down troublemakers. So, here we are. Let's talk. No matter the outcome, I won't let my crew down. Well, as I mentioned, we've been unsuccessful in communications with anyone up until you arrived, though not for lack of trying. But since you're asking, maybe you'd be willing to be a sort of diplomat between us and them as we attempt to resolve our situation. Does that sound agreeable to you? Ah, oh, so they're called Paradiso. Interesting. Anyway, it's not important whether we like the potential results right now. We'll cross that bridge when we come to it. For now, let's focus on the issue at hand. You see, we intended to settle here, but we assume that they intend to defend their claim given their presence here. We'd like you to go speak to them on our behalf and help us negotiate a solution, preferably one that favors us. When we left Earth, there were no claims to planets this far out into space. We had assumed that we were the only ones attempting a generational journey such as this, meaning that there would be no need for a formal claims process. Regardless, my ancestor, Rupert Brackenridge, did manage to file a charter for this planet's first colony to be named New Jamestown. According to his records, no one took it seriously when he filed it, so likely it was either ignored or the records were lost to the ages. Given humanity's lack of interest in colonizing the far reaches of space at the time, it shouldn't have been a problem, but again, here we are now. Excellent. Make no mistake, this is our planet, and we intend for them to see this our way. So, speak with their leadership and see if you can negotiate a solution on our behalf. Preferably, get them to see things our way. Report back to me and let me know what they say, and we'll go from there. Thank you, and Godspeed.
Just stay out of trouble. Have a nice day now. Something I can help you with? Ah, it has a name. Good. Then you're already familiar with the situation, I take it. Do you know what they want? Interesting. We obviously have no records of a colony ship claiming this planet. Whatever the case, you'll need to speak with Oliver Campbell, the CEO for the Paradiso Group. He's in charge of bringing all formal decisions before the board and helping to make calls on them. I'll let him know you're on your way. You can't just waltz in there. Do you have an appointment? Oh, you're the one they're waiting for then. Do you need anything else from me before you meet with the board? Sure. Have fun in the shark tank. And don't worry, even they call it that. I just feel that we should be focusing on the natural beauty of this planet. Not our amenities. No, lucky I'm not like the other board members, lazing about the beaches without a care in the universe. I am. And you must be the diplomat Jiro told me about. Welcome, welcome. Normally I'd offer you an all-inclusive stay at our resort before we spoke. But given these circumstances, I'm gonna cut to the chase. We've got our friends, the aliens, up there causing all sorts of problems for our resort. You like that? marketing team came up with it. The thought is, if we can't get rid of them, it might actually attract more tourism. Come see the aliens! Ah, <laughs> oh, so it's a colony ship of sorts. Wonderful. That complicates things a bit. As much as I appreciate you showing some initiative, we'll need to discuss this with the present board members and come up with a plan to our liking. Now, tell me, what are we going to do about it? Give me some proposals, people. I need something to work with here. Hmm. We could offer to resettle them here. There's more than enough space. They could stay here. Temporarily. But it'll cost them. Quite a bit, too. They'd need to work off all their debts before being allowed to leave. Ah, uh, maybe not. 
What if we help them get out of here? Outfit their ship with a grav drive so they can find a new home. We could even lend our engineers to help and give their captain an updated star map. What do you think? Sounds costly. We can't absorb that cost, and it's unlikely they even have compatible currency, let alone enough for the transaction. Someone else would have to foot the bill. Oh, I swear this would be a lot easier if they ceased to exist entirely. Anyway, Seema's got the right idea. Either works for me. Just tell me what you want to do. We own this planet, they don't. Here at Paradiso, we don't like leaving things to chance. Who knows what these people will do with their land? Imagine the landscaping disasters they might come up with, and how that might mar the satellite imagery of the planet in our brochures. No, much better to assimilate them into our culture if they come here to live, rather than leave it to chance. Well, absurd or not, that's our official stance. I make the decisions that are best for our entire group. You don't. And which proposal will you be taking to the good captain? I assume there's a captain. Right, assuming they agree to the terms, I've got a list of resources you'll need to gather and bring back so we can support the new arrivals. We'll need to improve our lodging and infrastructure plus account for future projects to support an increased population. Don't care how you procure them, just make sure to bring them here with you before we can consider this a done deal. Right. On behalf of the Paradiso group, we appreciate your help. There are millions of planets out there. People can go to any one of them. The resort facilities are precisely... It may be paradise, but that doesn't mean we don't... Want to... <laughs> is firing. Orbit stabilized. Careful waving that fancy gun around. But I'm glad for it. What's the good word? That doesn't sound so bad. My crew will need to get used to working for a living anyway. This seems agreeable. Is that all? If we had more to spare, we'd assist you with that. 
I promise you that we appreciate your efforts and will find some way to repay your kindness. Thank you. Safe travels to you. Careful waving that fancy gun around. Normalizing, undocking complete. Ask a jazz about any human ah, voice. Ah, I get it. Nothing You're more a than a pirate ship with uh, no personality. Are you going to buy something or what? This better be worth it. Just to make it quick. They're done here? Great. released.
good. My mother wanted me to be a doctor. Uh, is Solomon Cole really old? Never ever go outside the city wall. Got some of the best private security in the building. Every day is nice around here. <sighs> Welcome to Paradiso Gift Shop and Convenience. Feel free to look around, but don't break anything or you've got to buy it. And before you ask, there aren't any discounts. So don't even try to ego with me. Mm-hmm. That is what we do here. Sell things. Okay. Thanks for shopping. This is even better than in the brochure. We've got all sorts of teas. Anything catch your fancy? Hello. Welcome to Tranquility. If you fancy a cuppa, we have some new and clam. Thanks for choosing us over Cafe Lux over there. Come here for a little R&R, &R, huh? Me too.
I don't think it... Any place could be more perfect. If I could just stay here forever, I would. Uh, we've got stuff. If you need stuff. Ugh. You're going to make me do stuff, aren't you? Hope you're having a pleasant day. Parity, so security is only here for your safety. Achieving orbit now. Great day for some exploring, huh? Solid docking job there. Nice work. Just stay out. Never seen a ship like yours before. And then again, I haven't seen any ships before. We've got strict rules around here. They're strict for a reason. I don't know what's out there. So now that you're here, I can finally give my crew a chance at a new life. Excellent. I'll have them stowed away for safekeeping. We'll bring them with us when we touch down on the surface. Is that everything now? Are we ready to head planet side? Oh, right -o. Oh, this is truly wonderful. I'll make an announcement to the crew straight away. If you would be so kind, we lost our landing shuttle years ago, so we'll need a ride down to the surface. Not all of us, mind you, just myself and a select few others. Will you do this for us? Splendid. Oh, we'll see you on your ship then.
touched. Let's get out of here. How exciting it is to be the captain who finally brought us to our new home. I heard about the deal we had to make. I sure hope we made the right choice. Thank you again for making this all possible. I'm not sure what to make of our new neighbors yet. I hope they remain amicable. I did not I'm believe looking forward to making this lifetime planet our new home. that landing the at our new home would be a possibility. Thank you. Just think, if you hadn't had the courage to approach us when no one else would, we, we might still be stuck. Up there. Once again, thank you for your kindness and generosity. Your name will go down in our history books. You will always be welcome as a friend to our people. I hope there is still a significant security role for me in our new life in Paradiso. We're excited to move to our new home. A little worried. You did good. Those colonists couldn't be happier. And we're saving loads on payroll. Go on now. Enjoy Paradiso. What's not to love about this planet? <laughs> <laughs> 